Hello and welcome to another session of our Java tutorials. In this session, we're going to create a Java program to print a full triangle pattern. Let us begin by creating a variable that will determine the size of our triangle. And we can say uh, int and give it a name. We can call it n and we can initialize it with 6 or any number for that matter. And then next, we will use the outer for loop and inside the outer for loop there will be two inner for loops. So we can start with the outer for loop here and say for and then int i, the var variable is i equals to 0 and as long as i is less than this number here which is n then increment i by 1 and then we open up our code block with these curly braces and we print out uh, the space so this one will be responsible for taking us to the next line that's why we use the print line method and we don't uh, pass any value inside so the next thing we do now is to create our first for loop which is the inner for loop and we say for and we will use now the the variable we change the name from i we can call we can use the j variable and say int j equals to zero and then semicolon and then as long as j is less than this value which is six we say n minus minus and then i so we want it to decrement on every row until we reach the last iteration so minus i minus one and then j plus plus and then we can open up this code block here and then we sys out and say sys out sys out and then we just print we use the print method here we don't use println and put an empty space and this one will be responsible for printing the space before the star and this number of spaces will keep decreasing as the stars keep increasing and then the next one now is to print is to use another for loop which we can put it here when we say for and then end this one will be responsible for printing the stars and we can say end call it j equals to zero and then as long as j is less than two multiplied by i then j plus plus so we want to increment j by one and then we can seize out this one again and say seize out and print out uh, the star and we can just do like this and print out the star and i will explain this in a minute but let's try and see if it's working so this one is a print method as well it's not a print line, it's a print method and as you can see we have our star so now let's go over the logic and understand what's happening here so for this one we need another star actually on top of this one so to achieve that we can change this one to less or equal to and run it again so our outer loop is responsible for the rows which is this one this print and method it will take us from first row second row third row until the last row well this one is responsible for the spaces before the star we can demonstrate that by the sprint s and run it and as you can see on the first iteration this number of uh, spaces are one two three a five and one star and then the next one the number of spaces reduce and keep reducing until the last row when there is no space at all and then the number of stars keep increasing until the last row and we can just remove this because we don't need it and we can print it again and like i told you earlier this one controls the size of the triangle if you put 10 you will have 10 rows and 
that's it for today guys and i will see you in the next video and if you have any questions please put it in the comment section below